Dr. Amanda Adams with us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, it's a thrill to have you here. I'm going to go over some of your credentials. You're an associate professor of psychology, and that is at Fresno State. Yes, right. And you are also the director of the Central California Autism Center. Yes. Uh, very impressive credentials. Thank you. And you have created a buzz here. Everybody is so excited that you are here in the building. You have a big following. Oh, I love being here. Well, we're thrilled to have you here. And I asked you um, before, if uh, when we were talking about doing this interview, if you could come and talk a little bit about, because you've got sort of the ideal classroom going on in your center. Is that correct? We have set up a model classroom. So mm -hmm. it's designed as a transition environment for children who have gone through our program with early intervention and are moving back into public classrooms, general ed classrooms. So we're trying to take as many of those features of a public classroom and bring them into the model classroom so they can practice that environment before they go back to school. Well, it sounds incredible. And you are using a tool that's very close to my heart in that classroom. Tell us what you're using? We use the skills curriculum and um, our supervisors who are our graduate students and some of our other senior staff uh, find this to be uh, an incredibly useful tool because it helps them catch the little gaps that they might otherwise have missed before the kids go back, especially in the social skills domains. Sometimes it's difficult to recreate that uh, kind of uh, skill that they are going to need in the public classroom, but the skills are so detailed it really helps us to address those kinds of uh, factors. Okay, and can you give me like a, a, a quick idea of how effective it has been and, and, and how like a, a specific instance of when you're using this and how, because I know there are teachers out there watching and going, I just don't get it. How can you use this in a classroom? There are, well, it's really nice because we can do the, um, the group environment mm -hmm. set up to address uh, uh, things like taking turns, raising your hand, uh, but all of the kids still have individualized goals as well. Mm -hmm. And so we can focus on exactly what a particular child may need. Like for instance, we have a child that needed just practice on the inhibiting body movements. You know, he was a little bit too much in other kids' space. So um, skills helps to address that. It's one particular goal there. So we could address that and that could be part of his individual goals while other children were working on other things that they needed. So it really helps hone in on how they're going to be very successful once they go back into their typical general ed environments. It's really exciting. I, you know, as a former teacher, the idea that we have a tool that can help us to get at those specific things to get those kids caught up. And you're seeing it to be effective in the Very classroom? Very effective, yes. I love hearing that. Yes. I, as a parent, I'm a big fan of skills and I like using it at home, but I, I think there are so many different ways that skills can be used. It's important for, for teachers to know that it can be very effective in the classroom. Yeah. Another thing I think the teachers sometimes um, get a little bit caught into following curriculum, uh, you know, just the next thing that follows. So yeah. this is the next piece after that, the next piece after that it gets a little bit rote. Um, and with the skills, we can really use the individual, individualization components so um, it, doesn't, it doesn't become that way. So we can have portions of the classroom that are uh, for everybody and then portions of the goals that just work um, with the kids and we have those on a little separate clipboard so staff can check those off easily so they can use both the general skills and the individual skills and uh, they don't get lost. Very exciting. If people want to know more about your program and your model classroom where could they go to find out more? They can go to our website which uh, I can give you the address uh, later to put okay. up. We can absolutely do that. Or they can email me as well.